At 17 years old, John Shepard went off to college while a classmate joined the Marines. In the big rush down uh, the peninsula in Korea that was in uh, early 1951, he was wounded and nearly died and bled to death. John saw his friend when he returned and made a personal vow that would span the next 60 years. When I came out of there, I sat down on a bench and I began to cry. I went over and gave a pint of blood. He kept a faithful routine the next six decades. This year, John Shepard earned a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for donating 315 pints, almost 40 gallons of blood, the result of his private pledge. Every time since that time, when I lay down to give a pint of blood, I think about my friend, Jean Prevatt. But people like John are a dying breed. The older generation are the ones that have stepped up to the plate forever. They believe that that was a, a community service that they did for their, their town. It takes eight donations at one pint each to make a single gallon. Giving every 56 days, that adds up to a year and a half, rolling up the sleeves. Nationally, the American Red Cross tracks blood giving and found that older Americans make up the bulk of repeat donors. We have donors that come in every eight weeks when we send out the postcard reminder. They're right here on time. A nine-year survey found repeat donors 50 and older increased 1.4 percent, while the effective number of donors aged 25 through 49 decreased more than 10 percent. At the same time, the need for blood continues to rise. We need 800 units um, a week just to sustain sustain the health system needs. They hope the John Shepherds of the world will inspire a new generation. It was an honor for me each time to give blood in honor of what he did for his country. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.